Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today I've got something special to show you. The new Draghi Pro. This is a professional grade GPS performance meter and in this video I'm going to tell you all about its features but I'm also going to do a run with the BMW i4 from 0 to 60 miles per hour. So before we talk specs and all of that how about we start with the fun part. Let's go do a 0 to 60 with the BMW i4 eDrive 40. This car does not have launch control nonetheless we want to see if we can match the automaker's corded figure. I'm using the Draghi app as you can see right there. In the box with the Draghi Pro you're also getting this windshield mount you can see right there and the device also has magnets so you can quickly remove it and attach it back. Blue light is on that means we're ready to go. There we go. All right so that was 60. Let's see what we got. 0 to 60 5.32 seconds. Zero. All right, so let's see what we got. This time, 5.46 seconds. Now, let me pull over and tell you more about the Draghi Pro. Okay, so now let's talk about the specs of this. But before, let me show you what's inside the box. You can see right there, it comes with this little tiny device, one by three inches in size. Very sleek, very small perfect for travel and of course you got all these accessories including a windshield mount you've seen this one in the video that we've just did then of course you got all the cables needed to charge this little device so that's the box quite small perfect for travel okay so now let's talk about the specs of this draggy pro so as you can see once again very very small form factor right there which i love quite a bit especially because i travel a lot and when I travel, I like to be as lightweight as possible. I do have another brand that I've been using for the last few years, and it's a little bit bigger, a little bit bulkier, but this one makes traveling a lot easier. So that's the first thing that I love about the Draghi Pro. Of course, it, there is no difference in size compared to the regular Draghi. You've seen that form factor before. The Draghi Pro packs serious technology in a very small form factor one by three inches in size. Here are some of the tech specs that makes this new Draghi Pro stand out. First off, it comes with a 10th Gen EU Blocks GPS chip. According to Draghi, it will connect up to 32 satellites across four GNSS systems. Next, it also has the six axis IMU. It has a built-in storage, which is quite useful and up to 25 hertz update rate. The update rate, it's extremely important, especially for someone like me, because I don't have a lot of time to set up the equipment to get a proper zero to 60. So locking onto that GPS signal is quite important. Therefore, this Draghi Pro can lock that satellite position 25 times per second. Features wise, according to the company, it also has better battery life than the regular Draghi and also comes with USB-C which is such an important thing these days because it makes life a lot easier not having to carry different cables with you. The built-in storage is 128 megabytes. So how does that translate into real life usage? Basically, you're getting 30 hours of internal recording at 10 Hertz or 12 hours at 25 Hertz. So if you get into Draghi Pro, you can connect the device to two different apps. The first one is the original Draghi app. You've seen it in this video. You can use that to do zero to 60 times, for example. And there is a second app called the Draghi app, which I love quite a bit because it's going to make my life a lot easier when I'm on the track. So let's fire that up. This is the home screen. Now you're gonna hit the connect button right there. And now after a few seconds, even faster than that, it's going to connect to the Draghi device right there. So it's acquiring all the data needed. And now let's get a little bit into the settings of this Draghi Pro. So if you click on that right there, now you can see some of the features. So for example, I can change from a 10 Hertz to a 20 Hertz to a 25 Hertz. So if you want more accuracy, definitely go to the 25 Hertz. You can see right there you have the indicator for the Bluetooth. There is also the battery indicator in case you're running low. You can see it right there. You can adjust the LED brightness on the actual device. I recommend keeping it on low. I don't think you need that to be too high to conserve battery. You can see it comes with 120 megabytes built-in storage space so you can download all these recordings, all this data directly from the device. As you can see right there on the top, there is also a route feature, which we're going to test in a second as we get going with this car. 
Now, let me go back to the home screen. You can see also the map, the location where you are. Now, on the bottom, you can hit tracks. Now, this is pretty cool. As you can see, I have two tracks nearby that I've selected already. The Autobahn Country Club, love that track, and also the famous Road America, but I can also add more tracks. So you're not really limited to just the ones around you. You can absolutely add more tracks. Now, if you go to distance right there at the top, you can add more tracks. You can see right there, you can see some of the tracks that are around me. They're sorted by distance. And of course, you can go as far as you'd like to. You can go to regions right there, so you can select US. You can change to Germany, for example, right there. And now you can see some of the tracks that are available in Germany. Of course, if you go down, you're gonna see the iconic Nürburgring. Now, you can do a couple other cool things. You can go to the event. You can actually set up your own event. So let's say that you're setting up an autocross or you're setting up an event on the track. You can actually go here and create your own event. You can share this with people as well. This is really, really, really cool to do. Of course, you can create your custom track as well. Let's say you have an open space somewhere. You can use this to tie it to a track that you've just created. Now, one other thing to show you, go back to my track and now hit the add track. So now you can actually create your own course. So I'm gonna start driving in a second and I'm gonna show you how I can actually create my own course and use that to time any things I would like to with my car. Of course, it's in a neighborhood, so you're not gonna be able to go fast, but what you can use this for, it's for example, if you wanna test some EVs and you wanna test the efficiency, you can actually create a course and you can take the cars on the same route so essentially you'll have similar data to compare to. Now you can click us on the Autobahn. You can see all the details right here, the distance. You can see the leaderboard. You have a feed right here. So you can see some of the things that people have posted from there. You can upload videos so you can actually see people on the track as well. Very, very cool. Now, if you click on the leaderboard, for example, for Autobahn Country Club, you can see the run for that particular driver. Really nice display. You can also see a top view of the track layout. So quite, quite useful. You can also see every corner right there. So you can see the racing line. You can see the speed. This is very, very cool, especially if you've never been on a track. You can definitely use this one to learn the track quite a bit, but also see how other people are driving, especially if they're at the top of the leaderboard. There is a social aspect to this app as well. So if you go to feed, you're going to see some of the things shared by the draggy users. So as you scroll down, you can see that people uploaded photos, they uploaded some track laps, you can see the different layouts. Very, very interesting. This is a nice social feature integrated within the app. Next screen, shop. So as you can see right here, you can buy different products. If you click on it, it will take you straight to the Draggy shop and you can buy it within the app. The me screen, it's essentially my account. You can see I uploaded a photo already. So you can change your name, you can do different things right there. If you click on history, you will be able to see your history within the app, the tracks, the routes, so on and so forth. The garage, I've already added a couple of vehicles. You can see I have the BMW i4 and the BMW 1M, but you can add a lot more if you like to. You can see there are quite a few, not just cars, but also motorcycles. So if you go back, you can also change the unit of measure. So you can go from miles per hour to kilometers per hour. You can change the temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit and back. Now here's a cool thing. So let's say you're at the track right now. If you hit go, bottom left corner, hit this video button right there and you're going to activate the back camera on this iPhone. I can actually activate the front camera as well. And now I have two different views so I can mount this on the screen. I'm gonna do that in a second as we drive the car and you're going to get two different angles. There is one thing to keep in mind. You have to hit that red record button in order to start a video recording. So make sure you do that before you get going. And then on the right side, you'll get all the other information coming from the Draggy Pro. Now you see the video has been saved. You can play right side, it right the there. You can also do a lot more things. You can add files from your phone. So let's say if you've saved another video, you can add it to this one. You can go to that top button on the right corner. So let's say that you forgot to change the car that you're in. You can actually change it from right here to associate this lap with that particular car. All right, so with that being said, now let me mount this and let's go and create my own fake track. We're gonna drive to the neighborhood just a little bit to kind of show you how it works. All right, so let's start driving and create our own track. We're not going to go crazy here. We're just going to do a quick run and show you how it works. So you're on that screen. Just click Add 
track and now you're gonna do start and basically you're gonna drive for a little bit so we can record this course all right so coming to an end here so we're gonna click now on next finish you can preview the route and we're gonna save this now you can see it right there, it's saved into my tracks. If I hit go right now, you can see the screen. You're gonna go to video, and now you can actually activate the front-facing camera with iPhone 15 as well, so it works with 15, not just 17. Click front, and now you can get this footage. See me speaking, but you can also see the road ahead. You can adjust different settings right there on the camera. You can see you have 2160p or 1080p. You can go even lower if you want to save space. But don't forget this, you need to hit this record button in order to get the footage. Otherwise, it's not going to record it as you drive. Just start driving. One use case that I think will be extremely useful, especially for driving schools or different driving events, you can set up your own autocross. Essentially, you can record it through this and then you can use that layout with the app to see the different times. So you don't have to have any fancy equipment or any of that. You can essentially just use this particular setup, which is quite cool. And then you can record all these things with driver's phones. So you don't even have to set up any GoPros in the car like I have right now. Now, if you want to get fancy, you can actually use the GoPro cameras to lay over the track layout and also the lap times. I've seen some video demos out there. You essentially just start the camera at the beginning of the lap and you will sync up together and you'll have this really nice overlay displayed on the screen. So I'm not going to bore you. I'm going to pull over right now. I'm going to stop this and I'm going to do the full lap. So just hit confirm exit right there. I stopped the footage. Now everything gets being saved as you can see on the screen. I can play the video and I can do different things with it. It's already saved. That's very, very cool. You can also see different data displayed from this particular lap. So once again, very cool feature inside this Draggy Lab app, which I love quite a bit. Okay, so this was a, just a quick overview of some of the functions that you can use in the Draggy Lab and also within the Draggy Pro. You can do a lot more. I'm just basically just scratching the surface right now. We will have a chance to test the Draggy Pro on the track very, very soon with the BMW M2 CS. So we will talk more about the accuracy of the device as well. We will see how it actually connects when you're in an area where maybe there is an issue with the GPS satellites and all of that. So far, it works really, really well. It connects to the satellite fast and it has a lot of nifty features. So with that being said, Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We'll have a lot more content coming up. So how much does this little device cost? $249, but they have it on sale right now for $199, at least at the time of the publishing of this video. As a caveat, they send me this device for free, but as always, it doesn't influence our review. If we find any cons, we'll make sure to point them out. For now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.